Hi, uh, we're y'all from Thames. My name is Nick Wozniak, and uh, most people call me Woz, so you'll hear that a lot. Um, uh, this is Shovel Knight Dig. Mm -hmm. uh, I worked on this game a little bit. I was mostly on the, um, like, usually I do art, mm -hmm. but I was doing more, like, more doing, like, feedback and, uh, like, publisher side things. And hi, my name is Celia Schilling. You can call me Celia, and people will call me that on the show. <laughs> okay. I did, <laughs> I did the marketing and the art for this game. So anything you saw from uh, inclusion on platforms to uh, cool uh, release date announcement trailers, anything on social media, um, I had my hand in that. Celia's our resident meme lord. Yes. Um, so any yes. of the memes are definitely on there <laughs> as well. All of the memes. <laughs> so yeah, we're watching this. This. Uh, uh, Speedrun by Dan, the VP, um, and we haven't seen it before. <laughs> I'm, I'm not really sure what to expect because a lot of what Shovel Knight Dig is about is just kind of reacting to what comes. Mm -hmm. um, and so I'm not like sure like, what the ideal scenario... Oh, well, the coffin I know is really good. So yes. that's that's really that's good to have. So that's probably like top point of the strategy, maybe. <laughs> yeah, let's just fall through everything with the coffin. Yeah, so like Waz was saying at the game, um, it is definitely reacting to the levels. The reason behind that is there's thousands of levels that are handcrafted and procedurally uh, stitched together. So there's, you know, thousands of opportunities to have different elements in it and just adapting to that. So we're really curious of what he's going to do, because how do you practice that? I feel like it's just practicing you in just, chunks. You have to know everything. I, I'm, I'm sure that he knows like all the Mushroom Minds levels, because mm -hmm. um, <laughs> that's just like what you have to do. Uh -huh. But uh, yeah, I think it's just like being on your feet, knowing which uh, relics are going to help you. Or yeah, relics, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> no, definitely. And kind of how the game works is that you go through three oh stages. So lucky. Oh, yeah, I know. He got another baby. He gets another little fairy. Uh, so in the game, sorry. So in the game, you go through three stages and then you fight a boss and you repeat that as you delve down the well. And so I'm just really curious of like, which path is he going to take? Because you don't have to fight all of uh, the excavators, which are the bosses at the end. Um, you can pick and choose which ones that you want no, to face. No, he's doing the true ending though. He's gonna do all of them. Oh yeah, he is doing the true this, ending. Yeah, this, so the true ending is, is a kind of a, it, it intrudes a challenge for every world that you go into. Mm -hmm. And it's usually just one thing. So in, in the first, well, world in Mushroom Minds, you're looking for Altius. Yeah. And once you find him, um, see, so he, he's checking the side rooms. Although, I guess he's going back for the... Can Harry give him something? Yeah, he's Oh, he gives him a magic, magic upgrade. That's yeah. good. Yeah, sometimes the, the guys just give you, like, money, but um, I guess Canary's good. But yeah, so going in the side rooms, looking for Altius, sitting on a chest. Once mm -hmm. you uh, pull him out, then you can start... It starts the quest, basically. Um, you don't, you didn't see it at first, but the way to start this, um, in case you guys are wondering, because, you know, there's been some questions about, like, how you get this going. Um, you can hit Altius with your shovel. He likes it. It's okay. He's not, he's not in pain. And then he flies around the opening area, and if you knock him into the hole, mm -hmm. then you can find him down in the well. Um, oh, wow. That's, like, much... <laughs> this, this is a good, a good set of right now. <laughs> yeah. Well, he, he got the... It's just the the big drill mm -hmm. hazard. So it's just like a bunch of dirt. That's, that's very, uh, I hate this one because like I, I don't like dealing with those giant drills. Yeah. But um, obviously he, that's like a good choice for the speed running crew. Yeah, so if you ha if he hadn't seen LTS, um, then Shield Knight would be there. Yeah. Seeing how, you know, you, you missed her, her butt. Um, LTS is, is, is Shield Knight's owl. Yes, he is. Yeah. It's her little buddy. Her little buddy. <laughs> oh, yeah. He killed Spore Knight so quickly. Killed he, it with the fairy. Yeah, the, the fairies and the little axe throwing but thing. Exa. I'm really Do you bad. Get, do you get why it's called an Exa? Because it's on the... Because it goes down and, ac and a it's yes. axe backwards. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that's that's a really important <laughs> little tidbit. I want to add that. I want to tweet that out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That can be my Thanksgiving tweet. Happy Thanksgiving. So in the... <laughs> In the lava zone, uh, the smell works. He's looking for Altius again, but mm -hmm. Altius is going to be hovering over um, a chest that uh, has Chester in it. I just noticed he's using the magic armor. Yeah. That's harder because I think you take more damage, and so it's it's it, but it makes you have more magic. Yes. It's like the original, uh, you know, in Shovel of Hope, you have the mm -hmm. same armor. Um, I thought he would have used the the coffin more, but I guess the X is just better for for 
melting bosses, which I'm sure is a huge part of this run. Yeah, no, that totally makes sense. But never say never. Uh huh. Maybe he'll, he'll go he'll, back to the coffin. Yeah. We well, he has know. he has two relics right now. Yeah. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so I was Dan. literally about to that. <laughs> Dan was like, no thank you, goodbye. Oh man, he is like speeding through this. He's got another egg. I think that- I know. I have a, oh, there he is. Look, it's Altius. Yeah. I have a feeling that the eggs are really important to the run. <laughs> oh no, I think so. Because like they definitely assist with things. Oh, he's getting the cog. Yeah. yeah. So he has to get the cog. He doesn't have enough for the, the boots. Which I didn't see, were those, were those the spike boots or the- uh... <gasps> His son. So my so least favorite thing about Dig is when you get hit and you drop the egg on spikes and so you experience love and loss in the game. Because <laughs> uh, <laughs> everyone always gets excited about the babies and they're like, yeah, baby, and then you it dies. Call babies. You're like, That's my so son. Sad. <laughs> no. What would you call them then? Uh, helpers? No, babies. I just don't want to say the phrase, the baby died. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. So he has to get... So in order for that to work, you have to get all the cogs, yeah. all three of the golden cogs and the wooden cog. And what happens is that Altius breaks the drill, uh, which allows, um, which prevents you from being able to use it for the next two levels. Yes. But also, this, in, as far as the storyline is going, um, he's using it to go to a different well, and so he'll use that later. You'll see. Oh, he wasn't able to get into the the astronomical zone. Yeah, That's important for getting health back in this time because, yes. like, you can't get health back without that drill. Uh, which makes things very difficult. <laughs> His strategy, I believe in him. Half of, half of it is going fast, the other half is just like surviving. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> this game just like wants to murder Definitely you. for days. Whoa, under the fish, good job. Oh, well, there and we go. The food. Might be a, yeah, hey, turkey, yeah, yeah. hey, that's, that's really good. And all the, the uh, fairies get their health back too. Yeah, I gotta keep your sons alive. Where's the lava? There it is. Oh my gosh! They're like, sorry, we're quiet for a second. It's just like this is like just really intense because the the sand right there, um, it dissolves. It basically like it's the ash. It's yeah. ash. Yes. You can't see my ash. And yeah, Where and then like that? the lava's there, and it's just a bad time. <laughs> yeah, this is stressful. This is probably not the the well he wanted for the speed run, but maybe I don't know. I don't know. We could we could find out. Like it could be all part of it. Yeah. It's just this is a difficult one because it's it's metered. Yeah. You can't really make it go faster. Tombola the mola, he's ready to roll. So yeah, we all learned what a tombola was. A little marking in this game. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Which is that that's what that barrel is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> By the name implied. <laughs> yes, right, yes. Oh, oh yeah, this. no drill. Yeah, he's speeding through this. It's going good. I feel like I, I could go this fast. Yeah? <laughs> Are you gonna challenge Dan the VP? To... Maybe I will. Maybe I'll become the next uh, speedrunning champion. That's so cool. You should do it. <laughs> I'm being supportive. I wasn't being sarcastic. It did sound very sarcastic. That's so cool. You should try it. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm focusing. I'm uh, watching I'm sure this. there's like stuff I'm not thinking about that he's like, Wait, oh no, um, he he's a master at our games. Oh, I didn't notice that he got the spicy curry. That's what he got from yeah. Tombolo. Okay, that's why you can't see his health. Yeah. That's actually like really, you have, that's almost essential. Yeah. Getting the, the the spicy curry in this level. Um, it gives you a bunch of more health, but you can't see it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, okay. You know, he's at Tinker Knight. Hexa, do it, do it, do it. Dude, his little ship is so cute. His little, his little, little flying submarine. Yeah. It's like just perfectly Tinker Knight sized. Yes. <laughs> it's so cute. Totally. <laughs> he like drives it to work. Yeah. It's his little like, you know, those European cars that are like this big. Do you think it's uh, do you think it's electric or do you think he's? It's definitely not electric. I, know. <laughs> I don't think Tinker Knight is like, you know, uh, environmentally friendly. Oh my gosh, what if in the next game he gets really environmentally? <laughs> he's just like green. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that could be Mole Knight, you get a new costume. He's like, no, carbon offsets actually don't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> He's like really into it. <laughs> carbon offsets. <laughs> yeah. Look, so, okay, you didn't see the cutscene, but opened up a a well, a entrance to the well that's on the side. So normally the game, you know, it has the mushroom mm -hmm. level and it splits and you choose. And then you, that brings you on a path. So if you go uh, smelt works, then the next level you do is uh, hive. Um, Mm -hmm. And then you go down to uh, the 
fortress, uh, Drill Knight's Castle. But if you do this, uh, you know, you go to the water. And then the water leads you to the Magic Landfill. And the Magic Landfill then leads you back to uh, hive, the Hive Zone. Hive Grub Pit. The Grub Pit, yeah. Yes. I was going to correct you. <laughs> I like that, that name is so good. I can't remember if I forgot it. Yeah, no, no, it's totally fine. Um, I'll, I'll call things like the old names that we'll call them. Yeah, that's how it was all the time. It was just like we taught, we used the phrase like, the water zone, or like, uh, mm -hmm. uh, we call this Atlantis. What do we call this? We called it Atlantis. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> um, but now it's the secret fountain. It was lost Atlantis for like a really long time, and in like, like the music. Yeah. And so when I'd be listening to like Jake's soundtrack, I would be like jamming out <laughs> the lost Atlantis, and yeah, yeah I have to catch myself. Like, I can't have like time. places that refer to the you know real places on Earth. Oh yeah, no, like Atlantis. Oh, definitely not. But. <laughs> the real place. <laughs> the real place. <laughs> hey, look at this. It's weird. This is a sacrifice room. So, oh, he just right away gives it the feather. Really? Oh, he's reason. I trust him. I think he probably just went, went, did the first thing. Yeah. That's oh, it opens up a bonus room. He's not going to do it, though, because he wants his frames. I, that's why I would fail. Yeah. I'm a sucker just, for getting everything. Yeah, I just want to collect the fun. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm like that, too. It's really fun. Oh, he's a health. Oh, bummer. So yeah, at the end of the level, you can choose mm -hmm. healthy or goody. Um, and the goodies are always nice. I always try to go for those, but um, yeah, it, it, you gotta make the choice sometimes. You gotta survive. Yeah, no doubt. Like definitely. I said, it's like half the game is just surviving the adventure. I think it's very interesting that the the relic that he chooses is the, the axe that he prefers, uh -huh. which I get, you know, for speed wise. But yeah, it's like, very damaging. During my playthroughs, I typically use other relics. What do you so, use? Oh, I okay, I call everything by the wrong name, so you're gonna make fun of me. Okay. Um, but right. I really, really like the Warhorn. Um, War, okay, yeah. Yeah, no, that's great. It just murders everything. It's true. Um, I also really like the propeller. Like it's like it's like the thing, the propeller thing. The rising dagger. Yeah, the rising dagger. There you go. That's from the amiibo custom lane uh, that we made for the switch. That's very interesting. Oh no, and I guess we use three. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to remember if that was on three D. Um. See, so yeah, I really like that one too. Like those are my main like go tos. I'm really bad like when my playthroughs because I don't like getting the hoofman keys. Oh, so, yeah, yeah. So everyone's advanced relic usage is not on my radar. <laughs> like, you don't even have the coffin, right? I'm like, no, I do not have the coffin. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, that's the go-to. I'm like, yeah, that's, oh, there it is. Um, that he ditched. I'm like, that's not on my go-to. <laughs> if I need the coffin, I'll just, I don't know, get Whisker to throw me in. The no, place. not the bee, the bee necklace. No, not the bee that's, necklace. This one's really good. It makes you, like, really angry with your little health. Yeah. You hit harder. It's actually really good paired with the curry because... Uh -huh. It'll tell you basically when you have when you have low health, unless he's like keeping track of it in your brain, which is like literally impossible. No, I believe that Dan's able to do that. He is a pro. He is the VP. Yeah, I think one of the fun things that he's the VP. <laughs> one of the fun things about this game too is that you get to see a lot of the characters and enemies that you saw mm -hmm. in Shovel Knight, but with like better art, and that you can like actually see what they are. Like these the. Um, Amphibians or Tadbolts? They're Tadbolts. Yeah, tadbolts. Um, amphibian was a, was a contender that I liked <laughs> for their names. Anyway, um, Tadbolts, they have like a little spike on their head. Um, and some people, I was talking to people on the on the official Discord, which you guys join. Yeah. Um, there's, a whole, there's a whole channel about asking the devs questions. And they were asking if the Tadvolt is royalty related because they interpreted the horn on his head, the little spikes, as a crown. And I was like, that's crazy, that's not a crown. And then I showed them the like concept art from the thing, but like it's totally a crown. I mean, it looks like it looks like a crown now. Um, it doesn't really look like the concept art. That's like, it's um, Yeah! Yeah! Get underwater. It totally looks like a crown, by the way. I know, <laughs> it's not a crown though, <laughs> but <laughs> Whatever it looks, it looks like a three pronged spike. It's like a, it's like a Godzilla spike. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, no, a skeleton key. He's gonna be able to go into. He unlocked this area, and I can go into the grub pit. Um. Yeah. So they kind of usher you along the, the way. Reading those is fun. We we spent a lot of time making sure their dialogue was was fun and like integrated into the 
adventure. So on everyone else's non speed running adventure, they can run yes. and enjoy it. Dan's not going to do a speed running plus reading. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Read every NPC commentary <laughs> run 100%. Okay. Um, yeah, no. Wait, I was saying uh -huh. something about. Oh, sorry, I was just. Crown. It doesn't matter. But anyway, that's not a crown. You guys enjoy it. Oh, I hate them, by the way. The little, little buzz, yeah. Oh, my gosh, I hate them. They're like my nemesis. Lap Apples Lazuli. Apples Lazuli. That's my favorite named item. Because it's a blue apple. Like, uh, like Lapis Lazuli. Yeah. Or Lapis Lazuli. I don't I don't like the crown tier that way. That's so funny. Apples Lazuli. You can make a fanatic how to pronounce it. <laughs> yeah. In like, a blog how, entry. like how Trouble King demands that you pronounce Icor, like Icor and yeah. not Icor. Yes. <laughs> Hey, you're getting shields. That's good. Yeah. Wow, look how much health he has. He has so much health. And if he dies, well, I I think you can... I, that, that's like a permanent loss if you get hit, right? Yeah. I think. I, yeah, there was a bug where that wasn't happening. <laughs> I can't remember if you fixed it. Yeah, no, 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 it's like fine. Well, it was it just may, like, you have 30 health now. <laughs> it may or may not. It's like funny, when I was um, recording gameplay for like different like promotional things for this, yeah. I got like the shielded, oh. Um, oh, uh, the shielded uh, health. Yeah. And I was like, people are going to think that I'm cheating when like literally you can get that much health in the game. Yeah, yeah. So I'd have to like restart it okay, and get well, all self-conscious. <laughs> he just found the skeleton door. Dope. Um, and now Altius is gonna take the relic. Look, he got it. Other people can take those things too, if not just Shovel Knight. Yeah. I don't know, I always feel like it's weird like when other characters interact with the HUD and like game elements, but uh -huh. <laughs> it makes total sense. No, it's Oh, he fine. got health back. Okay, look, okay. I, don't, I don't know what shield does. So they, they fixed it. No, those, those are different. Those I think are one hit knocks them out. But they're like not, they don't go in half. I forget what they're, they're for. I, I should just know this. It didn't know what it was. Like. There's like so many things to know about the game, though. It's hard, especially since I like to, <laughs> didn't work on it directly. Uh, I like this guy a lot. Dan does not. <laughs> <laughs> but I really like how he's just he's like going through the levels using the ghosty guy. Plays well, rock walls. So he's done the challenge for this world. He doesn't need to worry about getting cogs or. Yeah. Getting uh, Altius in some other situation, so he's just going as fast as he can, basically. Mm -hmm. um, which kind of feels nice. I like I like when I'm doing these runs. I can like stress out about oh, all that. <gasps> no. He lost the key. It's okay. Oh. You already used it. Yeah, but still. And now he has a scoop boots. He can go extra fast. The key is really nice, though. It opens everything. It's a skeleton key. Yeah. Anyway, um, it's nice to like not think about the challenge when you're when you've gotten to that point. I just realized that he lost the fairies, and I never noticed. I feel so bad. Yeah, you should feel bad. When there did he lose some... the fairies? I did not notice either. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you should feel bad, Was You really should. But just me. I got really excited when I figured out that you could like attack the queen. You can kill her, especially yeah. with the warhorn. The warhorn murders her. Oh, I know. It's the best. <laughs> if you want to see that happen, check out our really awesome release date trailer. Um, <laughs> you see Shovel Knight killing the queen. Like, Celia likes to point, like, I... pitch the things that she worked on. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Join our TikTok. Watch this video I spent a lot of time on. Yeah, I know. I do. Dude, my, my neighbors think I look so crazy in the in my recent TikTok. You should be like, I'm an in influencer. No, I'm pretty sure they think I am. <laughs> like, I am like, we have a bunch of um, uh, stuffed animals made by Symbiote Studios. Mm -hmm. And uh, for, for Shovel Knight, yeah. I did this whole thing where like Black Knight and Shovel Knight were talking to each other. And like, in actuality, it's me with a tripod and me just like doing like them talking. <laughs> and like, uh, obviously in the video, you hear like, you know, voices, so it's fine. <laughs> oh my God, I should have made them. <laughs> One day I'm going to do that and then share it with the team. Like, obviously kidding, but like, you're not gonna, to you guys though. No, you're totally going to do that. Oh yeah, 100% I'm going to do that. That's... Oh, he was there. He had, this, he had the screw, the, the Omega driver. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Now, go on to the Magic Landfill. So, around this point in the run, Things are a little scary because you have to take the bomb and you have to go very fast and avoid uh, hitting the bomb directly. Uh -huh. It's actually insanely difficult. Um, and I have not gotten past it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've like debugged my way to get through it to Same. like for like when we're doing testing and stuff. I can't. This like as far as I get. It's so hard. Dude, it's so easy on debug mode though. 
Yeah, we, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so debugger like dev tools to like yes. get around like different levels. Yeah, it's like just like cheats, just because when you're making a game and you want to test something, you're not gonna like play it. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't get hit. I wish wow. I hit when I tried to do it. Like it's the room. So I was watching a, a friend of mine stream this, and mm -hmm. he was like, in this world, he had the the big giant bomb, and it exploded. Yeah. right in the screen above that rock. And he was like, no! Um, but at the same time, he had the um, the bomb book, which yeah. makes enemies drop bombs, like normal bombs. And he and something died right in front of him. The bomb landed right in front of the wall and exploded and the wall exploded. And he like, he had to pause stream. He was like so shocked that it worked. <laughs> it was great. He like, he did it, he got it. And that was the run that he actually finished the whole thing. Wow. Which do you is this? That's Blurbs. That's awesome. He does a, he's like a, usually a, a See a theme stream. Oh wow! But I did a bunch of art for him, so now I can now I can be like, how do I work his stream and look at all his art? It's so cool. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> show my dig. Yeah, show my dig. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, Dan is so flipping good at this. Yes. There's like certain parts of levels, like I'm recording content, like I'll get good at like that section. No, yeah. And Dan is way better than anything I've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> Is it looking for magic? Is that what's going on? I think so. These books can get annoying because if you're not fast enough, they'll chomp you. Oh, yeah. Like, so quick. Ugh. For a while, like, it took me a bit to realize that you can, like, dig up pages. That's why we have a lot of those areas where you have a book mm -hmm. in a well that's just, like, exactly book sized. Yeah, so you figure For that it same out. reason. So you, like, yeah. That was, like, early what on. What did you just get? Was it the. I, did, I missed it. I, it was way too fast. I was okay, looking at you. Like, um, we got something. It's probably cool. I was hoping it was the spike boots. I always, that's the, that's like, the best one. I love that item so much. They're just like running on spikes. <laughs> breaking the rule, breaking the law. Yeah, he is going really fast. This is like, I no longer feel as uh, confident in my ability to keep up. Yeah. <laughs> you can rewatch this anytime, I guess. In case you're getting like particularly no. spicy. Uh oh. Well. <laughs> oh my gosh. I like the ice wisdoms. I think they're really cool. They're awesome. No! <laughs> he's trying to circumvent it. <laughs> it seems like he's not worried about power ups or the no. gear at all anymore. He's like mostly just focused on getting down to the bottom. Which is good. At this point in the other round, you definitely want to be in that spot. Yeah. Because I'm always looking for magic. So we can use the. No! Oh mash, 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 mash. I love mashing and then. Uh. Immediately, immediately getting it. Uh, yeah. iced again. <laughs> okay. He's so good. I want to steal some of these ideas. Sorry, Dan. <laughs> Celia's going to plagiarize your technique. No, I'm not going to plagiarize. Oh, I missed. Okay. Okay. I don't think you guys can spike No. Oh, because she dropped a carrot. Get the carrot. That's Dan. crazy. Oh, he didn't go for it. No, he is, he's he is, murdering her. He has more important things to do. Like, oh Whoa, my god. Whoa, he one-cycled her. Or, yeah, he didn't even... Usually yeah. she dies and, or she gets a certain low point in health and she sucks you into her bag and then you gotta fight her. Yeah, like in phase two, which is a really I fun really fight. didn't know that you could do that. <laughs> Wait, what? Really? <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> and now he can't use the green one. Or he's, maybe he's gonna swap it out for the XML. He's keeping it. So he can't, he has to use the the Omega driver. He has to save it. I guess he could use it. That'd be really risky. Um, uh -huh. But you have to use it on the Omega saw. And Dan obviously knows that. But he's like being careful with his mag, so he knows he has magic for the last fight. Although he oh has my the, gosh. He has the oh, magic. I <laughs> Sorry, I thought he wasn't going to get hit there. I'm like, oh my, that's like <laughs> so hard to not get hit right there. No, so. <laughs> Those guys are good. Um, yeah, so that's why the the you know the split is called screwdriver. Mm -hmm. uh, you got to bring that to the last boss, and you, it means you can't really use your magic because you it, it's like a one-time use thing. Yeah, uh, it's really stressful <laughs> to have this. Uh, but yeah, that, that's sort of like the challenge of this. It's like not super obvious, but the challenge of this level is like you can't really um, use relics. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, getting health, yes, definitely a good idea. Yeah. 
one stage through them. Two more stages, then he's gonna fight Drill Knight. I'll take and then not miss. <laughs> you can actually miss the Omega Drill with the, the driver, and it's just heartbreaking. Oh, these are good. Lots of fun. Yeah. Bet he wish he had the coffin. Yeah, probably. That would be a really <laughs> good coffin part. Because right now it's just him focusing on not dying. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, these stacker guys, I always just want to bounce on them, but they always murder me. Yeah, well, if you had the boots. Really? I think so you can bounce on them because you have the boots. It was spike boots. Oh, I never tried that. I'm just terrified of them. Don't quote me on that. Excuse uh, <laughs> 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 making stuff up. No, I'm pretty sure, but I don't know. That's Dan. Hey, Dan, I have a question for you. You didn't answer. Oh, no. Huh. You didn't type it in chat. Oh, you're right. I, he's just taking these hits. Yeah. It's so sad. No! Oh my gosh. Is... I mean, how much health does he have? Is he keeping track of it? Do you Probably. think he's gonna finish? <laughs> oh my gosh. What if this is the wrong file? We're just watching. <laughs> We're watching the failed one. No, we know he did it. The drama. Oh, oh. wow. All right. He, he knows what he's doing. He's a professional. He's keeping track, I guess. Gosh, this is so stressful. <laughs> he doesn't even guess. Wow, okay. I I was more of a baby than I needed to be. Shield yeah. might come wake him with me, no. I thought this was really cool, like where you check in basically with Shovel Knight. Shield Knight, and, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. did I say Shovel Knight? Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Sh I really think it's cool that Shovel Knight checks in with Shield Knight. Like, yeah. And like she's like says hi. She's part of the adventure. And this yeah. is a prequel leading to the events of um of Shovel of Hope. Mm -hmm. So like seeing how they all like get to the point where they're aware of the gem and the amulet and then it makes sense why it's in Spectre of Torment why Shield Knight's like, no, you can't have this this amulet because mm -hmm. she knows what's going on. She knows what's about. Yeah. Okay, don't hit him again. <laughs> That's so stressful. You can't hit it him. Is. You can't hurt him. No, don't line up. Oh, he didn't uh... even, he didn't even flinch. Oh my gosh, I love that animation of like when Shovel Knight's like, ah! Ooh. Ooh. So now you get to see what happens when you break the drill. Oh! It breaks out the floor and reveals no. a bunch of doors and then all the gems fly out of you. They slot in where they go. I think Drill Knight has a gem. And it goes in and now you're in the... Crystal Core. Planet Core. <laughs> the Crystal Core. Did you say Planet Core? Planet Core, yeah. <laughs> was like, that an OG name or was that? Uh, no, that's a, a episode one reference. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta take the bongo. Mm. Mm, Una bongo. Mm. You know what I'm talking about? No. <laughs> it's a st okay. I'm not gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> so this one's like, when people get to this level, it's like a little stressful, but really it's just like, get a bunch of gems, get to the bottom really fast. Um, it's like falling action a little mm -hmm. bit. More just like impressing you with a bunch of cool visuals and then the idea of what's going on. Get a lot of gems. Up, up your score. Oh, he's using a horn. That's a very good choice. War horn. Wait. Is the best way to No, it's like way it. better than we thought. Oh my gosh. That was. <laughs> you don't have to fight the boss at all. <laughs> that was spectacular. I guess if you never shovel drop, I mean, it never does down. That is. Well, that was it. That was it? That was crazy. Wow. That last fight was insane. I <laughs> I was ready to talk about like the art and like all the tentacles and how there's like swords <laughs> in the previous level and there's tentacles here. Nope, we're done. That was crazy. Good job, Dan. Good that job. was, Dan is amazing. Shout out to him. Um, he has sped run a ton of our games. The last one. Sped run? Yeah, sped run. Speed, speed run? run. Sped, like, well, he sped, speed run or sped run? Um, anyways, he has done a lot of runs and like a bunch of our games. They're absolutely incredible. Um, last time we watched our Shovel Knight Pocket Dungeon one, and that was fantastic. Oh, that's good, yeah. So this definitely was a very fun, satisfying run to see. It's cool that he can do both. You know, yeah. 2017, was that the time? That's crazy. Oh my gosh, fantastic. Or 2823, right? Yeah, 2023. Okay. Um, but either or, that was that was a really treat like to, yeah. to see him just beat everything at once <laughs> like wow yeah uh why don't you guys start training uh i do i'm not i'm not ready um 
But yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for for yeah. hanging out with us while we uh, react to this video. It was it was quite a trip. I was um, I'm glad that it wasn't super buggy, uh, but I do like that there were some exploits. There were some things to go mm -hmm. through, like the the um, scrap night one cycle or, or, or first phase, uh, the last boss just like being just a chump. That was really fun. So yeah, good, good job. So yeah, um, also, um, if you want to speed run or play normally, um, our game, <laughs> Shovel Knight Dig, is out now. It's on Nintendo Switch, it's on Steam, and it's available via subscription service for Apple Arcade. Huge shout out to Mark from IGN for having us on. And shout out for Dan the VP for being awesome. It was so cool. Yeah. Um, so yeah, until next time, guys. Yeah, have a good one. Bye. Bye.